Welcome to another tutorial, boys and girls. This is for TeamSpeak. Instead of Ventrilo, um, we've been having some problems with Ventrilo. We, no, oh, I decided to change to TeamSpeak for our chatting on the server. So this is a quick little tutorial on how to download and install and set up TeamSpeak so you can talk to us. So go to teamspeak.com and once you get there it should pop up with this window and just right away it has this button right here free download and it should pop up with your OS. I'm on Mac so it popped up with Mac um, but if it doesn't uh, just go into more downloads right there. So just click that and download it and then once you download it so team speak right there and then once you download it install it and it should just pop up with this window along with this setup wizard so it's just a quick setup you enter your nickname what you want people to see or see you as in the chat and then if you want voice activated or push to talk on and you can choose what key to bind for the push to talk and then here's a little test to make sure your mic's working you can have a speaker mute hotkey and then <laughs> this part was a little confusing to me and a couple of other people but the female male it's just saying that all these little commands like when someone switches a channel or you open up a window or some I don't know something then a female voice would will say channel switched rather than a male voice saying channel switched i thought it was like something to do with my voice or like text to voice something so don't get confused with that <laughs> uh it's just whoever speaks to you um i like the female one better the male is a little bit odd um and then you get to the screen and just uncheck these boxes because you don't need to do any of that. It'll pop up a big server list that you can scroll through to find servers, but I, I can give you that information rather than you have to find it. And you don't need to rent your own because I already have. So finish and then it should just have this. And then go under connections menu and click connect. And then you have this window, except it'll look like this. Um, enter the server address which is vs8.tserverhq.com colon 6861 and then it'll show your nickname and then I will give you the server password on Minecraft I'm sorry I don't want a bunch of people just joining my TeamSpeak server so I will if you ask me in well, ask me or another mod in the Minecraft um, on the server. They'll give you the password and then you can connect. And so then after you input your password, just click connect. Connected. And then you are in the TeamSpeak channel. And I've got this just public one. And then if I or Sergeant or Biggs or the dub decide we need to talk privately we can go into this moderator channel, channel. Switched. but you guys I can make multiple channels if you need it channel um, switched. but this should do just fine for us right now um, you can also chat with people so hey and then it'll pop up right there and feel free to join this even if you don't have a mic because it helps to User it helps us channel. see here's Biggs <laughs> Um, but we just want to be able to talk to people. It's easier. So you guys can be in the chat. You don't have to say anything. You can just hear us. And then you can type in the Minecraft chat responses to what we're saying. And it works way better than us having to pay attention to us talking and your um, chat um, in there just by itself. Like, if you can hear us as well, then that makes it so much easier. So just... So just get this and join the chat if you're in Minecraft. Just just do that and it's User it'll be awesome. Um, 
And then you User can disconnect like channel. this. Disconnected. And then just exit out. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Of course you know how to exit out of a window. But hopefully this helped you guys. This is a little bit more straightforward than Ventrilo. Ventrilo is a lot... Um, it feels complicated. This one is, has a ve uh, better in interface and it's just very straightforward. It tells you exactly what you need to do. And the setup part is very nice. So I hope this helped you guys and feel free to use this even if you don't have a mic. And thank you for watching.